Hello everyone. So, it's Saturday here in Holland. Uh, it's been a great week for us. We're going to be leaving this Monday for Sarajevo, Bosnia, and I just wanted to keep in touch with you guys. Um, we have no idea how long we'll be able to do video blogs, if we will be able to blog very often while in Bosnia. So I want to take advantage right now while we're in Holland just to keep in touch with you guys and keep base. So. Um, it's an exciting day today. Uh, everyone here at the conference is taking a day of prayer. Um, just something that uh, many of us, especially in our church in America, doesn't really get a chance to do very often. We don't um, pray for very long periods of time. Maybe we pray at before we go to bed, pray when we eat, pray after we eat. But uh, it's just a day for us to really focus upon what we're committing ourselves to doing. And that is uh, serving the Lord. Uh, we have people going all over the all over the world to serve, and uh, just be able to, for us to to pray for one another, pray for our ministries going on, and praying for uh, what we hope to do soon. It's very exciting. And uh, for those of you who are watching this, I ask that perhaps maybe you consider doing that today too. Uh, just taking five, ten minutes, maybe half an hour, however long you like. Uh, just to devote to prayer, prayer for uh, Vanessa and myself, for our ministry that we're going to be starting next week. Um, pray for the teams that are out all around the world, um, our ships that are going port to port. Pray that they would be protected, that they would uh, continue to serve the Lord and uh, glorify Him in all things that we do. And you can also pray for your family, pray for uh, those who your heart longs to see. And uh, let's pray that we would be able to just rejoice in uh, knowing who God is. But anyway, I also want to hit some other notes too. Uh, it's been an interesting week for all of us. It's been very busy. A lot of stuff going on here. A lot of things I can't even talk about just for those who uh, are going to be joining in the future. Because when you go to this conference, you don't know what's going to be going on. You don't know what they have planned. And it's been very exciting for us and a very huge learning process too. Um, we we're excited just to meet uh, Billy and Jessica who are going to be living with us in Bosnia. They're going to be like right around the block from us. So it's going to be very fun um, just going around with them, going to learn the culture and everything of that sort and building relationships too. But um, I also want to speak about how uh, all of us as Christians, how we continue to grow in Christ and how, you know, year after year, there's always something that um, the Lord sheds from us, the Lord chisels away at us so that we can be uh, more like Him in our ministry. And uh, I'll definitely talk to you about, you know, how the Lord has um, convicted myself, helped me in many ways. Um, and I'm going to, one of the guys is reading First Peter, and uh, he was reading in chapter 1, verse 13 through 17. Uh, Therefore, prepare your minds for action, be self-controlled, set your hope fully on the grace to be given you when Jesus Christ is revealed. As obedient children, do not conform to the evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance. But just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do, for it is written, Be holy because I am holy. And uh, this goes to this whole idea of like who we were before uh, we accepted Christ, before we took that step. And how over years, um, the Lord forms us, the Lord uh, makes us more holy in his eyes. And uh, as Trevor Christmas has pointed out at the point many times, our, our ride's kind of like up and down, up and down. You know, we, we're doing good, and then we kind of take a dip. We do good, and God's shedding things from us. And I know the Lord has shed many things for myself, um, from my video gaming addiction through high school, through other uh, just problems with myself, to now. I mean, one thing I've always done is downloaded pirated software. I've always been that guy, the computer guy, to download music, programs, and a lot of them I use. I mean, I use them. 24 7 and uh to finally come to that point where before i was never convicted before i was never like you know never really felt bad about it i was like yeah you know i understand the lord but you know i don't really feel convicted about this i feel this is still kind of part of who i am and this week i've been able to finally delete all the pirated software on my laptop everything from music to software that i use and that was a good 100 gigabytes of information but it's good in a sense that for the guys and I, we've been speak, we're talking with each other. Um, we've just been talking about how, you know, we don't want to be 
slandering the word of the Lord. We don't want people to be able to look at us and find something that where they can say, hey, you call yourself a Christian, but you do this and you do that. So how can you, you know, proclaim his word, but still be hypocrites in that sense? And so if any, for our high school youth group, for those at the point, um, I really just want you to consider that. Look back and see uh, where the Lord has uh, delivered you in the sense that you had your old self and, and it's changed since then. And also take a look at uh, where you can change in the future and where the Lord will lead you to because he's not going to uh, burden you too heavily. For I mean, Jesus said his yoke was, was light and it's definitely uh, been for myself that it hasn't been uh, too much of a struggle. But for every step that has been taken, it's been a huge relief to know that you know this is gone or this I don't have to worry about anymore. And uh, I hope that in the next couple of days I'll have Vanessa with me as well, that we can uh, talk together just about what the Lord's doing and how excited we are. Um, we've met a lot of our team and we're ready to go. We're ready to begin learning the language. We're ready to begin uh, serving in Bosnia. So anyway, we'll talk to you guys soon. And I hope all of you uh, are doing well with the Lord. We love you guys and we'll talk to you later. Sravo.